and welcome back to Sonic 3 and Knuckles with me, Matthew Caddies, aka Poogie. So today we will uh, go through Flying Battery Zone, and this is also where I actually get Super Knuckles. Oh, also oh, the Hyper Knuckles, I say. So yes, uh, crawling up here will give us the um, both the invincibility and the electric shield. So yeah, and um, indeed, it is awesome. Seriously, and um, yeah, I can't say any more than that. And then as soon as I get it, I lose it and do the thing. As we're getting through the um, area with the um, cylinders... Oh wait, no, we're not there yet. I don't know if I can glide through here. Uh, I don't think so, not through grabbing a um, thing there. And apparently my picture's got to be pixelated there, excuse me. So, let's go through the cylinders. Again, um, mostly the same. Um, although, now I do actually make good use of those um, uh, special stages that are located in Act 1. Namely the two that are very close together towards the end of the act, if you'll remember. Getting through this area, however, with Knuckles is going to be a pain in the ass because of how he jumps and everything. Seriously. He doesn't jump, I've already said he doesn't jump very high, and this is proof of that, seriously. I may well spend quite a bit of time here, uh, so yeah, I'm trying to jump over to there, not gonna happen. Uh, I actually will create a safe stay because time wasting is not something I like doing in video gaming, and you know that from many of my games, so yeah. So if I do mess up, that is probably down to me. And uh, yeah, let's see if I I did jump up, but the glitching is not helping me. Anyway, that being said, let's head over here past the flamethrower. Yes, I am calling it a flamethrower because that's what it is. And then yeah, I can easily get over that trap. Hell, um, I can easily climb up there. Who needs uh, springs, eh? Seriously, I can't climb up that wall because of the um, aforementioned uh, missiles, however. But, um, we're almost, uh, I don't know if we're almost through the act, but, uh, yeah. Now, do I want to go down there? I don't know, but I guess I will go down there. And then head to the right again and, yeah, just ignore the one stationary thing on the floor. And then just run through here, yada, yada, yada. Destroy the enemies. Yeah. How long before I get to talk about the special stages? Oh, I need hyper knuckles. How long before I get to speak about that? I want to know seriously because I know for a good por portion of this, I I did get a fair few of the super emeralds in Mushroom Hill Zone, which is why the last episode was so short. Don't know how long this one will be, so... No, I want to stop there, because I want to explore a new area with Knuckles. Seriously, I could have gone up here with Sonic, but... Oh, damn it, I'm going with the Red Echidna. And... Uh, okay, is there any way to... Jump up there? Never mind, I, I lost my... Uh, rings, but... This one is pushable. Yeah, I, Maybe I did actually come up here with Sonic, I'm not sure. But, there's the first giant ring. And then we can go through here and uh, head to the right and pretty much get some more rings. And then I want to glide over here. Yeah, I skipped a whole segment there with Knuckles. And then we can push this one to the right and find the second um, giant ring. Seriously. So that's another one down, I guess. And with that, we have all the Super Emeralds for Knuckles. And that also means we can actually get Super Knuckles in himself. Or Hyper Knuckles, should I say. So, yeah. And, uh, indeed, uh, um, we will uh, go through the rest of the stage again. Knuckles Glide, easily one of the best things about him in the 2D games. So, indeed, let's climb up here and skip quite a bit of this. Well, almost. Still have to lose me rings, but never mind. Um, is it still worth it? I guess it is, although that blast orb can go to hell. Um, seriously, it can. And 
probably won't because it will just go on the scrap heap. So instead, let's climb up here and um, indeed another thing. And we face the not so capsule, etc. Same uh, thing with Knuckles, seriously. Uh, I don't have enough rings to activate uh, Super Knuckles at all. Um, you will see that a bit later, but um, not so here. But uh, there you go. So jump back up and there we go. You get the idea. And destroyed. Yeah, I don't have anything else to say really. So indeed, act two then. How's that going to differ from act one with Knuckles? Well, we'll see in a moment. Because, well, um, yeah. Now that we have Hyper Knuckles, I don't have to worry about editing any more uh, special stages out. Although, having said that, there is um, there is still some few, a fair few obstacles with the Red Echidna uh, that we will have to deal with. Especially in Act 2 of Sandopolis Zone. It's one of my least favorite things about playing this game with Knuckles, seriously. Um, but we'll get to that. For now, let's take this downwards. And I might as well do a spin dash, or maybe not, because... I don't know. Do I, yes, I do use a spin dash. And then we can go through here, and you get the idea. Okay, so I'm going to see what's off to the right here, seriously. And down here we have the cylinders. Again. Um, I suppose I could gl glide through there with knuckles, but do I really want to? I don't think so. I'm not sure, but um, I don't think so. And I don't want to get him on the bottom side, just saying. And more of this. Yeah, I do like the fact you can deflect things with the, each of the shields. Seriously. And here's Hyper Knuckles, which um, at the moment just looks like... Sorry, apparently I died. So, uh, is not working. And then open up the door. I do have enough rings to actually go uh, Hyper Knuckles now. I actually have uh, 52, so... But I don't want to do it just yet. I, I probably like the uh, Fire Shield too much in uh, Flying Battery, seriously. And for good reason. But, um, here, yeah, we'll activate uh, Hyper Knuckles. At the moment, it, um, when I first played, as I say, Sonic, well, the lock-on version of Sonic uh, and Knuckles, I thought Hyper Knuckles was not that great. How wrong I was. He actually does have a decent move. It isn't immediately obvious what it is with the Red Echidna, but it is um, kind of uh, linked to his gliding ability, I'm going to say that. I don't know if I show it off here in Flying Battery, though. Add to that, he does have the super speed that was already there with his super form. So, yeah. And then, let's go down here. Um, as well as the after images, that's also uh, Hypersonic does have. But, um, yeah. Let's go down, I guess. Um, I don't know if I glide here. Okay, I, I am trying to glide here to show off the special move that thing. Because, of course, uh, Sonic had the air dash, which gave him quite a bit of extra speed, let's just put it that way. And uh, Knuckles, we'll see in a moment. You can actually see the capsules in the background. I never really noticed that. But yeah, apparently um, this is where Eggman sends all his capsules from. And why not? Because I am a stickler for um, idiocy. I am going to um, go to the bonus stage. Blowing spheres, etc. Yeah, seriously. Oh yes, Hyper Knuckles, I do like, for the most part. Um, as I say, I, it isn't completely fallible because there is the problem of the rings, of course. And you'll get a segment, as I say, in Sandopolis Act 2 that uh, does trip me up. Seriously. Uh, but um, that being said, I'm um, still um, uh, doing that. Seriously. And I'm still missing a thing. But 79 rings should be enough. Seriously, so... Indeed. Spin dashing the wrong way. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, I can't blame Knuckles for this. I'm blaming myself. 
So this will take me upwards um, again. And indeed, let's run up here. And you know, we've seen this bit before. In fact, do I get go go for the super ring there? I don't know if I do, but beyond here is the laser boss. I do not want to use the um, ability, aforementioned ability with Knuckles here because these are. That's why. Yeah, I do not like the laser. Uh, kaboom. Yeah, that's going to be a pain. But the laser boss is largely the same, just avoid it until um, the egg robot is toast. What's interesting is what happens when we uh, fight the. Um, uh, dare I say, cameo, or the boss, uh, the actual boss of uh, Flying Battery Zone, because um, we'll see that there is a slight problem with this um, stage with Knuckles, as we will see. So, Hyper Knuckles, yes. Uh, no, I don't think I have enough. And with that, we can easily get over it very quickly. The next boss, however, oh boy, is easy to cheese with Hyper Knuckles, firstly. Secondly, um, um, I want that, yeah, I do. And then, who needs to wait for the thing? Well, I guess we still do need to wait, but look what happens. Seriously, once he comes up. Yeah, Knuckles is right to tap his foot. He, um, he's waiting for the thing to come up because, um, yeah. Anyway, the, f um, the fight here is pretty easy with uh, Knuckles and Eggman? Yeah, apparently Sega did not change this. In some versions you do actually see Egg Robo, but in this version, no, nope, it's um, Eggman. Seriously, with uh, Knuckles. Which is the first and only time you actually see Eggman in this playthrough, seriously. I'm guessing Sega didn't change the sprites, so you actually do face Eggman there. Anyway, that being said, we are finished with the uh, flying battery. So now I am going to go to the right and dare I go to the next uh, level, Sandopolis? I don't know, but that's the next level we're going to. So S Sandopolis is interesting at least um, for Knuckles. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I will save here. And on the next episode, we'll go through Sandopolis Zone. So I will see you then.